hello all masters so let us continue the session from where we stopped in, in our previous session in our previous session we are just uh, discussing about how madam lavatsky about we started discussing about madam lavatsky's childhood and also how she married nikifer bravatsky and after marriage uh, how she stayed disconnected with all the comforts and all the rich and profound life physical life she got uh, by marrying Ma uh, nikifer blavatsky and after that when she felt that that is not the correct place for her to the bangla where the her married life the bangla and the place where she is living and her partner her husband nikifer blavatsky when she finds that these all the factors were not correct for her to go further to know to gain the divine knowledge and to just share the divine knowledge with the humanity which is her basic life purpose she starts she come out of that bangla she go visits constantinople and from there she visits constantinople in constantinople she meets a owner of a circus company and she helps the owner of circus company at an incident once when the owner suffers one minute my dear masters sorry for the disturbance masters so the owner of the surface uh, circus company he wants he'll be worrying about a concert that has to be presented by the by the musician and the musician who should present the concert he is not available suddenly there is a problem with him and he couldn't um, come to present the concert there so in spite of the musician who who's who should play the piano in the concert madam blavatsky will take the task of presenting that music program and she starts playing the piano all the audience in the hall they feel so blissful with the music that is played by madam blavatsky they they really they'll get lost and they feel so blissful and so joy inside them my, my dear masters with the music that is played by madam blavatsky so the, in this way she just shows her spark at points at at places and at times while she was moving from constantinople and from there she visits egypt in egypt she will get connected to so many spiritual gurus as all of us know that there is so so much spiritual knowledge in egypt that that is to be learned she gains all the spiritual knowledge through various gurus and she visits the pyramids the great pyramids of in that are present in egypt and she is such a daring woman she she stays for one night in the pyramid and the whole night she she visits various chambers in the pyramid she gets connected with divine masters she discusses with the spirit consciousness of the so many spirits consciousness that were present in the egypt pyramid that whole night moving through various halls and chambers in the pyramid she gains so much knowledge even there through the spirit consciousness and 
from there she joins guard blood guard bladders army in the battle of mintana she fights there on behalf of guard bladders army and even she gets wounded in that battle in the battle of mintana i want to specify this here because just want to tell you how daring and dashing she is through her life journey so from there from constantinople after visiting egypt learning so much of spiritual knowledge from egypt she moves to london in 1851 in a park in a london she meets master maurya master m we call him we can we also call him as master m my dear masters master maurya the master who she could see in a natural form many times who she could see in her vision many times master maurya who kept on guiding her throughout her life till she was 21 years of age by 1851 till then master maurya used to guide her in so many ways in her visions and also these masters used to protect her from so many instances where she, when she was in a danger so in spite of all this once when she sees master maurya in a physical form she gets so much connected and she feels so happy and joy there she starts talking with master maurya master maurya give gives her so much instru- so many instructions he tells her that in other dimensions the divine beings are planning the divine masters are planning to bring oneness moment on this earth realm and he asks for the cooperation of madam blavatsky to take this oneness oneness moment on this earth realm by sharing the divine wisdom to various to the humanity so asking her about to just cooperate madam blavatsky to bring this oneness moment in the humanity on this earth realm he also gives a small glance about how she is going to face so many difficulties in accomplishing this task and also he expresses his wish about establishing the society called theosophical society he expresses his wish that madam blavatsky should be the founder of a society called theosophical society through which so much of knowledge is to be shared so much of divine wisdom is to be shared to the human humanity on this earth realm my dear masters so these are all the things what master maurya and madam blavatsky talks in the park of the london in 1851 she meets master maurya at the age of 21 years my dear masters and from there master maurya suggests madam blavatsky to visit india and to go to tibet there master maurya gives her certain instructions to go to the divine ashrama that is present in tibet and there her task is to write a 
translate the knowledge from the books from divine books that were present in that ashramam into english language to accomplish that that task madam blavatsky tries to visit india and to go to tibet in her attempt to visit india she from london in her attempt to visit india she goes through she just travels through say, so many countries including america just visits america so many places in america and by that way she comes to india she first lands through ship she first visits mumbai and through mumbai she goes to nepal and from nepal her first attempt to visit tibet is from nepal in her attempt she has to cross a river and that is rangit river river rangit from nepal to tibet she has to cross the river and move into tibet's area while she was attempting to do so there is an army general in that area at that time and he is he notices he got he will get a information regarding an european woman that european woman is no one other than madam blavatsky my dear masters he will get an information from the guard telling him that some european woman is trying to cross the ranget river and she is trying to move to tibet listening to this message immediately the army general he gives the instructions to stop her in crossing the river and moving to tibet area as there is a threat while crossing while moving into the tibet area through nepal through that river there is a threat that so many different tribals over there if they traces the people from other place they'll just kill them and they'll just just they don't spare to kill them the people from other places so because of this threat that army general don't allow for so many months he don't allow madam blavatsky to cross the river and move into tibet area so after after few months she leave that place and she comes back and again she attempts again her second attempt to go to tibet through kashmir from le which is a part of ladakh which is there in ladakh and through her journey through her attempt to visit tibet through kashmir to le ladakh she learns so much occult wisdom through la through buddhist monks through hindu spiritual seekers hindu hindu spiritual gurus over there she experiences so much supernatural powers over there she comes across supernatural mysteries that are being exhibited by the people or by, by the buddhist monks while trying to move to tibet from kashmir to le ladakh but unfortunately that attempt also fails her second attempt to move to tibet also fails again she at her age of around 32 years she tries to 
again she tries to go to tibet in her third attempt she becomes successful she visits tibet and there in tibet she will be helped by master kothomi who is a divine master and master kothomi he takes her to the divine ashram and the, and in that divine ashram he will train her through various methods to translate the knowledge from the divine books which are written in sanskrit language into english while doing so master kuthami and the shaman from tartar tibet uh, tartar tribe these people they give so much energy to madam lavatsky through various procedures through various implications so that madam lavatsky gets ready to gain this wisdom from divine books which are written in different language and translate them into english and gain the whole wisdom which will be helpful for her to accomplish her, her task on this earth realm what is the task to establish oneness among the humanity of this earth realm so during this procedure at one context she, she feels she feels so so bad about her for translation of the divine the knowledge from divine books into english because of lack of her in, english knowledge anyway she spends few months in the divine ashram translating all the wisdom divine wisdom from the books divya grandas those books actually those books are invisible to normal human people human beings they will be made visible only to the selected people from this earth realm my dear masters that is what i heard while i am going through this knowledge it seems so going through this she could within few months successfully learn all the wisdom and also share and also translate certain wisdom from the divine books into english and master maurya according to master maurya's instructions she has to visit various places to share this divine wisdom following his instructions she moves to america from tibet and there she also tries to accomplish the task that is given to her by master maurya that is establishing theosophical society so she visits new york in america and in new york she visits a place which is very famous for spiritual practices my dear masters the place which is very famous for spiritual practices and it is called eddie homestead eddie homestead is a place where so many spiritual practices used to go every day every day people from different places they used to come visit this place eddie homestead in new york there this 
people used to communicate with spirits in unusual methods which are not actually possible according to madam lavitsky she is actually into that place to tell the people are come visiting that place that this is not actually possible that spiritual unusual spiritual practices which are not in a natural way which are not in in a way that is to be followed which is in a in an abnormal and unusual way she just want to guide them that this is not a natural way through this you can't gain spiritual knowledge instead instead as if feeling that they are gaining spiritual knowledge they are going in a different unusual way which is against the gaining of spiritual knowledge so she actually used to visit that eddy homestead to just educate the people to to just give the people the idea that this is not an actual practice so my dear masters in the next session let us discuss about what the actual practice that is going on in the in the eddy homestead and why is it unusual <laughs> and what is the actual practice people should go through to gain the spiritual knowledge and from there how she established theosophical society and all so my dear masters in the next episode we session we go through all this thank you all masters